Welcome back to Little Bayou Homestead, y'all. Today, I am fixing to get busy. I've got my cantaloupe cut and pureed and in that big container in the refrigerator that I'm going to be making for y'all later. It takes me a little time to make that one, but hey, I got the biggest part done. So right now, I'm going to cut up these beautiful pineapples. I've got three today because, look, it's going here really fast at my house. So I'm going to make a triple batch of it. So it'll last a little longer, and if not, hey, it's real simple recipe. It's easy, y'all. It's like three things that may go into this, and that's it. So let me get these all peeled up, and I may puree them a little, or chopped up, because of course this is gonna be jam, and I'll get back with y'all. So give me a few minutes on this one. Let me say this before I move on, peeling these pineapples. Y'all, look, you can trim this up, and you can see where I cut it at. I cut about an inch and a half off. I could have cut less than that, but I went ahead and did what I needed to do. Y'all save these. Y'all clean them up. And look, y'all, this was like a couple of weeks ago. Y'all see those roots on that? I've got two setting up in my window. I'm going to plant these. And I probably won't get fruit for a couple of years, but hey... I'm on my way to getting pineapple plants of my own. So you guys, y'all save these. Clean them up. Put them in a little water. Change the water every two days. And they'll root for y'all. Okay, back to getting these pineapples cleaned up. And of course you guys all know how to peel a pineapple. But that being said, hey... It's really easy, especially when they're ripe like this. You just go down that edge of that fruit. And you just clean it off like that. And when we get ready to uh, really clean these pineapples up, you don't want these little eyes nowhere on your fruit when you get ready to puree it or chop it up or however you want the chunks to be for your jam. But you do not want these in there because it will show right through your bottle, okay? Alright, back to business. What I do, I just cut mine in half and cut it in half again. You want to get that core out, y'all. Cut that core off because you don't want that. Mine's done got so ripe, it's like... It's not really that hard, but I cut it out just to be on the safe side. It's not much. It's about that much. I'm sure my chickens will enjoy it, but I cut it off. And then I'll go back through here and cut the eyes off. Like I said, I don't want that showing through my jars at all. And I'm going to put this in my food processor. It just makes it so much more simple. Y'all, my dog is out there barking. And he is barking at a turtle that is crossing my front yard. And I can't make him seem to understand that that turtle is not going to bother me or anybody else around here. <laughs> He's a good watchdog. He don't even want the turtle to cross the yard. It's been raining for four days with this little tropical storm we've had out here in the Gulf. And it seemed like it's never going to stop. Kids can't go out and play. It's just sort of a miserable time for everybody. But they're in the back room playing. They're looking forward to our school opening. And that is going to open. And we're so happy. We love our school. We absolutely adore our teachers and principal. Yes, we do. We love them. But anyway, this is about the basics you do to preparing your pineapples, y'all. It's, it's easy. Y'all gonna see how easy it is. Okay, I'll be back. Can I okay, Caroline's joining us. Can I have a Sure, there's your piece right there. Right there. There you go. 
I'm going to be just about done with this, then me and you are going to go to the fruit processor. That's three pineapples we cut up. Is it good? Mm -hmm. Is it sweet and yummy? It must be. <laughs> You're not saying that. I'm looking at the be. camera. Oh, are you? Mm -hmm. Okay. I guess that makes perfect sense then, right? All we need is Layla and Allie over here to help us, right? And they can help us make this. Yeah, make just, other jelly too. too. You want you want another piece? Yeah, there we go. There you go. Thank you. You're welcome. I love I love pineapple. I do too. I do too. They're good, aren't they? I I made a piece of that right there. Okay. We'll put it in the trash. There you go. Alrighty. This is done. We're all done. I'm almost gonna put the juice. A little bit of juice I got in there. You're and making then it we're a going, mess. Yeah, it's a little bit of a mess, isn't it? Mm -hmm. And we're going to go over to the fruit food processor. What are you doing up, Jenny? Okay. There's the other one. Okay, Caroline and I are going to use this food processor. Yep. Yeah. You want to say hi to them? Hi. <laughs> okay. We're going to see how this does. We're just going to pulsate it. We're not going to uh, puree it. We're just going to pulsate it. So we won't tear up our chunks. Yep. Right? Right. All right. <coughs> Ooh, that's scary. <laughs> okay. Let me check the clumps. Okay. All right. All right. All right. You're going to eat your marshmallows? Yeah. Okay. You go ahead. I see an eye that I missed in there. We'll have to get him out. Get him out. Get him out of there. Alright, we got him out. That's about the consistency I want. Yeah. So, let's see how many jars we got so far. I got a little sheet. This little sheet one. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's just pile some more in there. Can I Load them up. up. Yeah, your hands is clean. I just made you wash them, so go ahead. Put them in there, girl. There you go. Good job. You've been eating this pineapple. I hope we got enough to make, yeah. make it all what we was making and planning oh, on no, it. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> all right. All right, go ahead and let's wash your hands and get the sticky off. Yeah. And we'll uh, pulsate it again. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. All right, good job. You know where? I just might go over here. Okay, it's all right. Now let's pulsate it. <laughs> I know y'all don't want to hear all this noise, so we're going to... Get this done, and then we'll come back. Yeah. Okay, now that we have our pineapple somewhat pureed, or pureed, mm -hmm. we have our sugar, excuse you. Excuse me. Okay. And our sugar and our lemon juice. Yeah. So, Caroline, they have to have, because we had three pineapples, right? Right. They need three of a fourth cup of each pineapple. So you will right. end up with. Fly on there. Get up, out of there. Get that. He went away. He went away. Okay. Good job. Good I'm catching him. So you got three pineapples. Yep. You want a fourth cup for each one. So you end up with three fourths of a cup. Yep. <laughs> for each one of your pineapples one, okay two, three, four. and here's our pineapple fixed up and ready to go put your mouth back baby I, I know she's been eating these pineapples so <laughs> we got four yeah five yeah. six seven and a half cups of sugar this yeah. is what it takes yeah to make this jam are you ready 
All right, let's get in a pot. Okay, Caroline, you want to pour in some of the lemon juice? Yes, ma'am. Okay, we'll go ahead and take it. Be gentle with it so you won't break it. Okay, pour it in over here. Here, let's help you. Pour it in there, Atta girl. Good job. Okay, I'll take that over here and let's stir it up and put it back on our, our fire. Stirring it up, stirring it up. Stirring it up in this. Okay. Sure. We're going to add that slowly as we go. Oh. Yep, just wait. Just hang on. Sugar. Is this sugar? Hmm? Is this sugar? That is sugar. Please don't put your hands in it either. I know that. Yeah. Even though your hands are clean, you know, you have to be extra, extra careful. Okay, let's, this is four cups. We're going to put it in a little at a time. Stir it up and let it cook down. This is going to be good. <laughs> yeah, it is. Papa sure likes it, doesn't he? You guys like it. What? Making pineapple jam. Yeah. yeah come on over here and you can see. No, it's not. Hmm? <laughs> okay. Let's put some more sugar in. I really want to match it up. Well, I'm on this open fire, so it's best that I do this part, okay? Because yeah. I don't want you to dare get burnt. Yeah. Okay, after we get all our sugar. Is that blood? No, no, it's not. Okay, set back till you don't get burnt. After we get it all integrated, we'll be back. Okay. We don't have much more, just that bowl <laughs> left to go. So let's put some more in. We're going to stir it. Stir, stir, stir. Does it smell good? I can't smell it. Yeah, but you can't get too far over there because oh, yeah. it's hot. Smell it. It's good. Yeah, okay. Far enough now. Scoot back. You're going to get burnt, and I don't want you to get burnt. Okay, we'll be back when we get all the rest of the sugar in there. Yep. Okay, my little partner in crime has left. She went to play with her room with her baby dolls. So, this is starting to get heated up, y'all. I'll show And this, when it comes to a boil, a boil meaning that you cannot break whenever you're stirring it, it still has a consistent boil. You want to do that for 20 minutes on that boil, but you want to keep stirring that because you don't want any of this to stick in your pot. You can see the chunks of it. I didn't puree it all down, so that's going to be lovely to have some of that on your toast bagel or whatever you want to put it on. Even this would be actually good on pork or whatever you'd like to put it on. When it starts that boil, I'll bring y'all back. Okay, there's your boil. Now you can't break that boil even if you stir in it, see? That's what I mean, an ongoing boil. You want to uh, stir that for at least 20 minutes. To get all the sugar and all of the lemon juice combined, this calls for zero pectin. Isn't that pretty? Okay, I'll bring y'all back when that 20 minutes is up. I've got about one more minute left on my 20 minutes of stirring. And guys, you can have a film build up, that's no big deal. Some people don't skim it off, some do it does. It's just however you want it, that's up to you. But you can skim it out as is and just stick it in a little bowl on the side. But I got about one more minute and after that one minute for my 20 minute set time, see that constant boil, it's still boiling. I am going to turn it down a little lower on my burner heat to around low to low medium 
and I'm going to still stir for that one extra minute and then we're going to start funneling them up in our jars. And if you want to, to keep the, uh, the film from building on there, you can always put you a pat of butter, a tablespoon or teaspoon of butter or a tablespoon. It doesn't matter. It's not going to really much matter with it. But you can cut this in half, this recipe. Instead of doing eight uh, cups of pineapples, and seven and a half cups of sugar like I've done. I'm doing this because I, my family, you know, I give them to my, my family, my boys' families, and, you know, some to my neighbor. So, I mean, she's sick. She's got cancer. I like to help her as much as I possibly can, bless her heart. So, uh, yeah, you can put you a pat of butter in there, you know, to get that film if you don't feel like actually just manually taking it out yourself with a spoon but okay we'll be back as soon as that minute's up okay our one minute is up our extra minute after our 20 minutes of oil and stir we're going to go ahead and funnel them up in our little stumpy jars we're using our little stumpy jars today i hope i have enough of them if not i'll uh use a different eight ounce jar and I like to use the half inch fill line which is right there at the bottom line on the jar so Well, them chunks are going to be good in there, too. I hear my grandkids back there squabbling. <laughs> I'll tell you, too, why I'm at it, why I'm, why I'm doing this. You want to debubble your uh, jams. What I mean is debubble it is move it about here so you won't have any air pockets at the bottom and see it makes even the level go down on your drawers so see i can add just a little bit more to this one and to that one since i debubbled them I'm gonna get these done and then I'm gonna wipe my rims with vinegar and I'll be back for that. Okay, y'all, I got nine four ounce of the little eight ounces and I've got a pint. And I've got one that was almost full, but not quite. So I'm gonna save this and put it in the refrigerator when it cools for us to eat. But that being said, take your finger. We should have done that when we pulled out our bottles because you always want to check. I always usually check because if they're cracked, they're not going to seal properly whatsoever. And hey, who wants to take the chance of getting botulism, right? Hey, not me. So your vinegar, your white vinegar, you want to dab your paper towel or a uh, dishcloth or whatever you want to use. Clean these tops because they're sticky. They have fit. These jars are really hot. It's just I'm used to touching them. I'm, I, I'm, I'm getting used to the pain, I guess. And you just want to clean them up real good. Even on the sides, I like to have my stuff really clean here. And yes, I change up paper towels. I've only used them a couple times and then I'll get me another one. That way I know I'm getting everything off of those rims. So I'm going to get the rest of these done. And then we're going to put the caps, the lids, and the rims on. Be right back. Okay, let's get our lids and rims on. Okay. 
Here the grandkids coming in. Now, when you put these on, these rims, you just want them finger tight like so. You don't want to really press down hard on these because these are going back into the water bath for 15 minutes after I get all these rims. <laughs> hey, Shane, you want to say hey? Okay. When you get the lids and rims on, you want to put them back in the hot water bath for 15 minutes and then take them out. Can I eat some? You sure can. I got some in the refrigerator. Yeah. We'll be right back. Okay. They're all in the bath, the hot bath. 15 minutes, y'all. 15 minutes. Then we're going to take them out. Then we're going to set them right over here, and we're going to listen to them pops because that's like music to your ears. So we'll be back when 15 minutes is up. Okay, y'all. It's been 15 minutes now. We're going to pull this forward so I can get this out without getting a nice hot facial. And when you do this, y'all, do not open this lid towards your face. You see how I cracked it to the bot, to the back? That's what you want to do because you do not want that in your face, I promise. Because it is awfully painful. And make sure you got a good grip on that. Look at that color, y'all. Isn't that pretty? We're just going to set them over here. Let me turn this so y'all can see them. Take them all out. I know my videos are long. My friend said, I think your videos are a little bit too long. But I'm including my grandchildren in some of these videos. So now... Until I learn how to do this YouTube stuff and edit it and all that good stuff, you know, it's going to be one of those things. Just take them out, set them up. Like I said, y'all can do half the amount that I did. I just did three pineapples. And seven and a half cups of sugar and three fourths cups of lemon juice. Y'all, this will store on your shelves, my goodness, from three to five years. But I just don't think anybody's jam is going to last that long on their shelf. I know it won't around here. And this is it. This is the last one. You want them to have enough air circulation, y'all. So, yeah, sort of. Give them a little air to breathe. So I hope this has been informative. Uh, I would appreciate it if y'all would like and share uh, our Facebook and on our YouTube page. And on the notification bell on the YouTube, every time I post a video, it will notify you guys that I've uploaded a video. I know some of these videos will take a little bit of time because it's just according to how long you make that video is going to be that much more time uploading. So you guys just give it time and it'll load and it'll be there. So that being said, I appreciate y'all. I appreciate y'all for joining me and helping me support the cause. So keep canning and keep eating good. Take care.